What's going on guys, it's Shane, we're back here again with another video. Today we're going to be returning to Portland, Maine, owned by Portland Public Schools. I believe they're under a new group. Their new group has like 4,000 members, so uh, they probably bought out a different group. So um, that new group will be linked in the description down below. Um, What do we want to drive? Drive something cool. Uh, let's, can we drive this? Oh, we can. Yes, we can. Where did that go? Here we go. So it looks like a handicap 2024 Bluebird Vision. Uh, the lot looks a little different. It looks bigger. I could be wrong. I don't know. Something looks different here. This is their main game. I tried joining their uh, BD edition, but it said only BDs only. But I'm I have like a honorary rank. Look at the amount of road rails on this side. Interesting. There's four. And on this four. Oh, that just looks weird to me, doesn't it? Doesn't it look weird? I don't know. I mean, that's just the spec. I don't. Does this open? No. Okay. So. Is that? Now, the last time I tried to drive a vision in this game, it had a weird startup. So I don't know if it's going to do that again. It didn't sound like a bus. It sounded like a damn race car. <laughs> um, I don't know if this bus is going to do that as well. Let's see. Okay, maybe not. We'll see. Hold on. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. It sounds... It sounds weird. I guess we'll rock it. I don't know. Yeah, that ain't right. I guess it's propane, isn't it? It's got a blue thing here. It's not electric. Could be gas. Yes, let's. Oh, I just turned off the bus. It is gas. It says gasoline down here. Um, yeah, because I assume if it was propane, it'd be a little quieter as well. Did not mean to turn off that bus. So. I've been working on the map for my game. It's it's getting there. It's getting there. It's almost done. Um, still on target for this summer. Uh, I'm actually going to be buying our first bus. I uh, So you guys will be viewing this on the 26th. I posted a vote in my Discord about what bus I should buy first. Because there's only going to be one bus on release. And it looks like people want to see a CE. I mean, that's understandable. That's what I thought was going to win. Um, I think you guys can still vote. I don't know. It actually might, the vote might have already ended. I don't know yet. Uh, but it looks like I'll be buying a CE. Uh, it'll be a Huxley bus. And still don't know what spec. Like I said, it's probably going to be default off the bat because I'm going to work on a customization system. Um, Hopefully that'll get up and running as well. I don't know if that'll be on release. I want it to. Um, we'll see. We'll see though. We will see. Now, I don't see a lot of these normal sized buses that have uh, wheelchair lifts. Uh, normally it's the shorter buses. Though, I, I think there's some in uh, First Coast Transportation. I think they have some of the uh, bigger buses that also have a wheelchair lift. I don't know. It's kind of uncommon in Kentucky. But possibly not in uh, Portland here.
So it looks like you guys kind of liked my last video. Got about a thousand views in under 24 hours. So, um, should probably start doing more of those with, uh, like just random people, I guess. Um, I knew that video was going to get quite a bit of views because it was, um, you see a bunch of buses in the thumbnail that kind of gets people to see what's going on and they want to see what's happening. Um, Bruh. There it goes. Couldn't close the door for a second. Oh my god, that sounds so weird. That engine. Here's the high school. Yeah, I think they did some things different. There's like a a sign here that has arrows on it as well. I don't remember that being there. And I think they moved the high school as well because the bus lot used to be... Well, no. Maybe it isn't. This, I don't know. I thought the bus lot used to be right here. Because I remember pulling out, you would have the high school on your right. Oh, crap. I did not mean to open, <laughs> open those doors yet. still working on some UI things um in fact I've been doing a lot of UI more than uh map building and whatnot um there was something I was thinking about adding uh which would be some sort of like login thing that you have to complete um every time you join a game or probably start up a bus uh, maybe you can like get on like a little tablet or something and log in and it'll show who's online and how long they've been online for and I don't know I, I have a lot of plans and since I'm the only developer it's gonna be a little tricky to meet all of those I don't know there's so much I want to do I plan to have automated routes that's gonna be a little tricky though because I actually haven't worked with anything like that before uh, everything else should be pretty familiar anything GUI related you can pretty much do um, I added a so this is actually interesting I haven't seen a game do this before or at least not a bus simulator um, you have NPCs but I actually added uh, you know how there's crosswalks I added like uh, NPCs will be able to cross them at random times so you actually when you're coming up on a school zone and there's a crosswalk you actually have to be careful and you actually have to be looking because you actually can hit a pedestrian you can like see him walking across the crosswalk um, and I'm gonna have a whole leveling system and if you hit the pedestrian you're gonna lose some XP or something I still don't know how that's gonna tie into some stuff um, I'm trying to make it all make sense here. Um, a reason for leveling up and maybe you unlock certain titles. Uh, I'm going to do stuff like that. It's going to be it's gonna be pretty cool. Hopefully it gives people uh, more of a reason to play the game. You know what I mean? I feel like that's something a lot of the bus simulators don't really do. Which makes sense because, you know, they're in it for like the the buses and whatnot i'm gonna i'm in it for like the long run really you know i want to have a game where people can come back and play you know I, I want there to be some sort of little grinding not not like hard grinding but like something to actually do while you're driving the bus you know what i mean that way it brings you back to the game and I'm gonna think of something. I'm I'm, I'm close to thinking. Uh, I'm thinking about implementing the miles. The miles thing at NBC that was my idea. Um, somebody's actually fixing that right now. Apparently, it might have already been fixed. I don't know. Um, that was my idea. 
that gave that gave people a reason to kind of join back and kind of rack up a bunch of miles and stuff. So I have plans to add that as well. Um, what else? Added some terrain. Can't have a flat map. It is kind of, it's flat, but um, it has like hills and stuff. You know what I mean? Water. Uh, there was a, a good leak. I just, actually it was my last leak that I posted in the Discord. It was, um, there's a river and then there's a bridge. So there's bridges in the game, which is pretty cool. More than one. But, yeah. I kind of want to go out and kind of call my company just Starline. I don't, I'm not, uh, right now it's Starline Bus Services, but I kind of want to just name it Starline because it sounds more professional. Because um, I don't want it to be just about buses. I mean, yes, it's a bus simulator, but like I said, I want there to be more to it. You know what I mean? Um. I want there to be a reason to play the game other than, you know, just having bus enthusiasts play, you know what I mean? That's why I kind of don't plan on doing routes. I don't have any plans for routes or route managers. Uh, I really don't feel like that's needed. Uh, if anything, I'm going to have automated routes, like I said. But, uh, yeah, got a new affiliate, Star Bus Services. I, th is that, I think that's their name. No, it's Star Bus Company. My bad. <laughs> Not many people use bus services. I know Santos uses it. Um, and then I think Visor, v Visor, Visor. I don't know if they, don't they go by bus services as well? I don't know. I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly. But we're going to pull into the MS here. And we'll wrap up the video. I know, it was a random video. No real, not, no purpose. I just like to get on here and talk. Still trying to keep to my schedule every other day. I didn't even take a thumbnail. There we go. That doesn't look right. <laughs> but yeah, it seems like my last few videos, I've just been talking about my company, but that's all I really got to talk about. So I don't really know what I'm going to title this. I don't want to title it anything about Starline because, you know, that probably gets old, you know? Um, but yeah, all that's going to be down in the description down below. All my stuff about Starline and whatnot. Uh, also, I kind of just want to name it Starline because it, it rolls better off the tongue. You know, it's faster, Starline, instead of just saying Starline Bus Services. Um, so I don't know. I might do that. I don't know yet. But uh, yeah, if you guys do wish to play this game yourself, it will be linked in the description down below along with their new group and along with all of my stuff. But uh, yeah, if you guys like the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.